Welcome back, guys. I'm Zell, and we're doing another Drinking and Thinking with Zell. If you watched the first one, you know the deal. The intro is going to play here in a few seconds, and you will then have nine seconds to get your favorite beverage and follow along, or you can pause it. And today, we're attacking the clones, the copies, the inspired buys. What does it all mean? Stick with me, and we'll try to figure it out. There are a lot of people out there that'll tell you these two knives are clones. Uh, I don't agree with them. We'll talk about these knives here in a minute. A clone. What is a clone? Well, friends, this is a clone. This is, looks like a ZT0770, doesn't it? But I ended up with this thing over a year ago. Uh, won't really talk about how I got it. We'll just say that uh, I, I picked it up so that uh, it wouldn't end up in the hands of some unsuspecting person. But it looks just like a 0770. And whenever I say looks just like, they went to the trouble of marking a model number, copying the Kai USA, saying it's made in the USA, marking it as LMAX, and giving it a serial number. They went full Monty on this thing. But, as most of us know, that's a real 0770. And, well, that one isn't. So, that is a clone. And that's my, and my problem with clones are not all the economic issues you're going to hear about. There's some people are going to talk about economics and whatnot. That's, that's not the, the thing. For me, it's the fact that you might end up with one of those knives unknowingly. That's what bothers me. And the cloning is getting better and better and better all the time. And uh, some of them could fool just about any of us. So that's my issue with cloning. Don't like it. It's, it's bad. So now let's get back to this Gonzo uh, 739 and the San Ranmu 710. People are going to tell you that these are clones. Well, we need to do talk about some semantics here. This isn't a clone. Now, is it a copy? Uh, yeah, somewhat. They are modeled after the small Sabenza and the Griptilian. Are they exactly the same? No. But they are enough the same that they're copies. And by copies, what I mean is, I don't know how San Ranmu did it, but I'm sure that Ganzo, Ganzo did this. They took one of these, probably not the 550HG model, probably the standard model, but anyhow, they took one of these, they scanned it into their CAD program, took a couple measurements, plugged, in, plugged it into the CAD program, and then made adjustments for their manufacturing processes. And that is how you come up with a Gonzo 739. And, you know, as we can see here, this is a Griptilian and an AWT Technologies scale. I think, I think that's right. Anyhow, as you can see here, even the blade design is very, very similar. It's been adjusted to fit whatever manufacturing process that uh, Gonzo has. But it's still a direct copy of the Griptilian. And copies. What's your opinion on copies? Uh, yeah, I don't care for them. I don't like it. Uh, copying someone else's design is, is pretty low. You know, with Ganzo, they've done it a couple of times. We've also got the 727M, I believe it is, yes. And it is a scaled down Rat 1 with a axis lock. Not a big fan of that either. However, the copying thing, our companies here, Ontario, uh, Benchmade, Spyderco, whatnot, they really need to be protecting their own copyrights, their own patents, uh, 
and their own trademarks. I don't see them doing that. And these knives are being sold out of U.S. warehouses and being stocked here in the States, so they could be taking legal action, and they're not. So I'm not going to defend them. I'm just throwing that out there. Hmm. Not bad. A little bit of that hop lobster from Springfield Brewing Company. I'm watching along with you guys today. I recorded these segments earlier, so... I do want to cover a couple of things here in this little intermission. If there's one of you guys out there that would like to help me with some logo design, I would like to get a really simple logo design, but I need somebody that knows about all the programs, the scalable SVG, I think it's called, and uh, various other formats that I may need to proliferate the logo. Uh, so I would rather have one of you guys help me out instead of hiring some random guy. So if there's somebody out there that'd like to help me, let me know. Another thing, quick reviews. I know you guys have been seeing those and they're little short condensed packages over generally simple products. And you're gonna be seeing more of those and we may do some more quicker reviews on some uh, higher end stuff, but don't worry. The standard reviews aren't going anywhere. But I just wanted to let you know that some things are changing and those things are gonna be there. As far as things that are changing, uh, I've got some videos coming in the future that I want to know your opinion on. You know, I'm doing a little bit of knife making. Uh, as I get into that, do you guys want to see videos on this channel about that? Or do you think that's kind of a conflict of interest and maybe I should put that on a you know, Z2 channel or something? Uh, also, I've been doing some knife customizing. Would you like to see that here? You know, I put it over on Instagram as I'm going through it, but I know not all of you want to deal with Instagram, even though you probably should. Uh, you get into the knife community over there and Instagram is pretty slick. Uh, one last thing, knife sales. I haven't done any here because I didn't want to mess up what we had going. However, if you guys want to have first crack whenever I go to sell some knives, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, if I don't get any response, we won't do any knife sales or at least not for a while. Uh, if you guys are interested in that, uh, occasionally, not like some other channels, but occasionally we may do a knife sale. Uh, it's not going to be consignment or anything, especially at this point, and I don't plan on it being in the future, but just be knives that uh, I've gotten and I'm not utilizing properly and somebody else could uh, utilize them better. Anyhow, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about these topics. I really appreciate it. And now back to our clones. So now we're going to talk about the last category. And this one is, oh, kind of rough to talk about, but it's inspired by knives. And in this category, we kind of have a Ganzo 753. Now, I was told that this was a Protec ripoff, or copy, or clone, or whatever. Well, I went to Protec's website, and I went all over that website, and I'd done a Google image search, and I couldn't find this particular handle design. Now, the blade, it does resemble a Protec. Now, the swedges are done a little different and whatnot, but yeah, it does resemble a Protec. So I think what happened here was Ganzo said, uh, hey, we'd like to make something like that Protec. And they're still sponging off Protec's popularity, but they, and this time, instead of ordering up a Protec TR or whatever and uh, sliding it under the scanner, they said, hmm, well, we'll just make something like it. So they sent their designers out, or their copiers, or whatever you want to call them, and they said, okay, make us something like this, but make it fit our manufacturing processes. And they did. And they come up with this, and this is what I'm going to call inspired by, like I said a minute ago. And inspired by, I'm not going to get too upset about, and I'll explain why. Whenever we look at knives, there's 
only so many ways to make a usable blade shape. There's only so many ways to make an ergonomic handle. And I myself have been working on uh, some fixed blade designs and I've done dozens upon dozens of drawings and I do the drawings, I set them down, I come back and look at them a while later and whenever I look at my own drawings uh, I see inspiration from Benchmade, from Spyderco, from ZT, maybe from Ontario, maybe even Buck or ProTech, Kershaw. You know, I, I, I see in my own drawings, now are my drawings and the designs that I've come up with are they copies of any of this stuff or any of the other stuff that's out there? Well, no. I drew them. You know, do some of the blade designs maybe resemble a 0770? Uh, yeah, there's some of them. I kind of like this style blade. Some of the handle designs maybe resemble a rat? Well, yeah, maybe. Does that make me... A copier if I put those blades if I get to the grinder and I make a blade that has a blade design let's say looks like a ZT blade you know this 0770 kind of our modified sheep's foot and then instead of using that handle I use something that's shaped kind of like a rat does that make me a copier does that make me the guy that's infringing on that you know I don't know I don't think so because there's only so many ways to do things and I kind of think that we need to give ourselves some leeway here because it comes down to this. If you go to Blade HQ or Knife Center or wherever, some a knife shop that's got some really good filters and you filter out titanium frame lock flipper, happens to be one of the hot things right now, and you start looking through those knives, you're going to see lots and lots of knives that look very very similar but because the brands are maybe ZT and uh, Medford Knife and Tool two brands we all know and even though the two knives might be fairly similar we're not going to assume that there are copies it's we're just not going to do it because in our heads it's two separate companies and we see the places where they're different now if we threw a Ganzo in there I don't think they make any titanium frame lock flippers right now, but if they did, and we threw a Ganzo in there against a, a CRKT or a Medford or a Browse or whatever, and the Ganzo looks somewhat similar to it, because of the reputation these guys have earned themselves, we would immediately think it's a clone. And yeah, they did it to themselves. But, you know, I think maybe Ganzo is starting to grow up. So, should we be giving them some leeway? Should we be saying, hey guys, you know, as you're moving into making your own knives, maybe you need to shut down production of that 739 or that 727 because those really are copies of other knives. You know, should we be saying that they need to do that? Or should we celebrate that they're, you know, growing up and moving out and doing better things, and let them can and not fuss about them continuing to uh, produce the older stuff that's kind of copies of other things? You know, I don't know, guys. What's your opinion? Let me know. You know, I this whole thing is is a big mess because you know, think about it. Let's let's make it 50 or 75 years ago and you know we can throw the buck up here 50 or 75 years ago almost every blade that came out of the midwest or west of the united states was a clip point if it was a fixed back, fixed blade knife it was almost always a clip point and they weren't arguing with each other various blacksmiths or bladesmiths we're making basically very similar knives 
and nobody was yelling infringement. So, where does that put us now? I don't think we need to be copying each other, but where, at what level does that put us? You know, is it okay that Ganzo was making knives that looked like this uh, paramilitary too? I don't know, guys. You guys let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments. And you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.